Kanyakumari Tamil, Kanyakumari Kanyakumari pronunciation, is a city of Kanyakumari district in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. Also, called as the God's Own District. The name comes from the Devi Kanyakumari temple in the region, in Tamil it is pronounced as Khan Nia Kumari. It is the southernmost tip of peninsular India, and is surrounded on three sides by the Locative Sea. Kanyakumari city is the southern tip of the Cardamom Hills, an extension of the Western Ghats range. Nearest city is Tiruvananthapuram 85 kilometers and airport is Trivandrum International Airport Trivandrum Kerala and the nearest town is Nagarkoil the administrative headquarters of Kanyakumari district 22 kilometers 14 miles away Kanyakumari has been a city since Sangam period and is a popular tourist destination Topic History Ptolemy geography describes commercial relations between Western India and Alexandria, the chief eastern emporium of the Roman Empire. He identified Kanyakumari along with the Gulf of Manar as a centre for pearl fishery. He also identifies Korkai, assumed to be the present day's Tutakoran, a place to the east of Kanyakumari, as an emporium of pearl trade. Another ancient Greek book, the Periplus of the Erythraean Sea, contains sailing directions for merchants from the Red Sea to the Indus and Malabar, and even indicates that the coast from Baragaza had a general southward direction down to and far beyond Kanyakumari. Kanyakumari district consists of those parts known locally as Nanjil Nadu and Ide Nadu. The names of the villages of the district such as Azhajiapandipuram, Buthapandi, Cholapuram and Kalasakaram reveal that these places were governed by several rulers at different periods of time. Nanjilnadu was under the rule of Pandyas until the early 10th century and then under Cheras. The Kalkulam and Vilavankod Taliks were under the rule of the Shara dynasty. When the power of Chola declined due to the rise of Hoysalas and western Chalukyas, the Vinad chieftains descendants of the central Shara family took advantage of the situation and gradually established their hold on considerable areas in Nanjilnadu. Veera Kerala Varma, one such chieftain, styled himself as Nanjil Kuravan. The annexation commenced by Veera Kerala Varma was to a large extent continued by his successors and completed by AD 1115. For about four centuries, the Vinad was ruled by powerful kings who were consistently making incursions into the Pandyan territories. As a result, Vijayanagar kings proceeded against Vinad. In 1609 Kanyakumari fell into the hands of Viswanatha Nayak of Madurai. Consequent to this, there was no serious threat to Nanjilnadu until 1634. During the regime of Ravi Varma and Marthanda Varma, Vinad was disturbed by the internal strife. Sanda Sahib of Arkot took advantage of this situation and attacked Nanjilnadu. Although Marthanda Varma was victorious in the Battle of Kalachal and defeated the Dutch armories who helped the local feudatories, he could not cope with the threat from Sanda Sahib, which forced him to withdraw from the battlefield. After Marthanda Varma, Vinad had weak rulers and as a result there was frequent interference by the British who knew it as Kanyakumari whose control was completely established over Vinad and continued until 1947. From 1947 to 1956, it was under the personal rule of Maharaja of Travancore. <inaudible> Modern history Kanyakumari has been a great centre for art and religion for centuries. It was also an area of great trade and commerce. It was ruled by the Cholas, the Cheras, the Pandyas and the Nayaks. The architectural beauty of the temples in the area are the works of these rulers. Later Kanyakumari became part of the Vinad kingdom with its capital at Keelan. The king of Vinad, Anisham Tirunal Marthanda Varma, established Travancore by extending his domain further north up to Azhva, during his reign from 1729 to 1758. By this, the present Kanyakumari district came to be known as Southern Travancore. In 1741, Maharaja Marthanda Varma defeated the Dutch East India Company at the famous Battle of Kalachal. Kanyakumari was under the rule of the Pandyan kings till the downfall of Pandyas, and later by kings of Travancore under the overall suzerainty of the British as Cape Comoran, until 1947, when India became independent. Travancore joined the Independent Indian Union in 1947. The reign of the Travancore royals came to an end. 
In 1949, Kanyakumari became part of the reconstituted Travancore Cochin state. Around this time, a popular agitation by the Tamil-speaking people of the district for the amalgamation of Kanyakumari district with Tamil Nadu intensified under the leadership of Marshal Nesimoni who is called as Kumari Thanthai father of Kanyakumari district. Marshal Nesimoni was instrumental in the merger of Kanyakumari district with Tamil Nadu then known as Madras state in 1956 during the linguistic reorganization of states. Demographics As of the Census of India 2001, Kanyakumari had a population of 19,739 comprising 9,884 males and 9,855 females, making the sex ratio number of, females per thousand males of the town to 997. A total of 2,403 people were under six years of age and the child sex ratio number of females per thousand males under six years of age stood at 1,024. The town had an average literacy of 88.62%, higher than the national average of 59.5%. There were total of 4,236 households in the town. And Sunrise is the famous part of Kanyakumari. As of 2001, Kanyakumari had a total of 5,929 main workers, 11 cultivators, 78 agricultural labourers, 66 in household industries and 5,774 other workers. There were a total of 119 marginal workers, 4 marginal cultivators, 3 marginal agricultural labourers, 11 marginal workers in household industries and 101 other marginal workers. Geography Kanyakumari is located at 8.08 .08 degrees north 77.57 degrees east, 8.08, 77.57. It has an average elevation of 300 meters. Kanyakumari does lie at the meeting point of three bodies of water, but it mainly borders only one, the Locative Sea to the south. It is the confluence of the western coastal plains and eastern coastal plains. It is located at the southern tip and southernmost point of the Indian subcontinent. However, the southernmost point of the Republic of India is at Indira Point on Great Nicobar Island, at 6 degrees 45 minutes 10 seconds north and 93 degrees 49 minutes 36 seconds east. Kanyakumari is used geographically to define southern end of the Karamandal Coast region. Tourism Since the early 1970s, tourism has been an industry in the town. Because of this it is one of the few small towns in South India where one can hear many of the different languages of India spoken in the street, it is one of the major tourist attractions in India. Of late, the promotion of tourism has increased, with increasing emphasis on attractions outside the town, such as the surrounding landscapes, as well as the historical and religious sites found around the district. Ultimately a total of 1.9 million tourists domestic and foreign visited Kanyakumari in 2007, though there are several places of tourist interest in the town and district. Kanyakumari is especially popular in India for its spectacular and unique sunrise and sunset, thanks to its being nearly surrounded by waters. On full moon evenings locally called Chitra Purnami, one can also see the moon rise and sunset at the same time. Pilgrimage Kanya Kumari is notable for pilgrimage and tourism. The place takes its name from the goddess Devi Kanya Kumari, considered to be a sister of Krishna, women pray to her for marriage. The goddess is believed to be the one who removes the rigidity of our mind. The temple here is a Shakti Pitha, one of the holiest shrines of the mother goddess. Also nearby are eleven sacred Thirtham, the place was called Kanyashram of the Balambika, the deity of the temple. The sea ablution for Pitr Tarpan is done here. This is one of the rare temples in India where Devi mother goddess is worshipped as a child. The rites and rituals are done in the Kerala Nambuthiri method, so there are slight differences in the way of worship compared to the temples of the nearby region. The deity is the goddess of Sanasa, so people from all over India who desire to devote their life as sannyasin come here and take the diksha. 
Swami Vivekananda came to this temple as directed by his guru Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, being a sannyasin. The temple is very old and is mentioned in ancient Sanskrit literature. The beach sands are multi-colored and likened to a mythological story. There is a shrine for Kalabharava in the temple. It is said that the backbone area of Sati Devi's corpse fell here. The place is famous for Agastyar Mala where sage Agastya lived. He is the founder of Siddha Vidya, so there is innumerable medicinal plants available here. He is also considered as the founder of Varma Kalai, a form of martial arts. Another pilgrimage is Nagaraja Temple, Nagarkoil nearby. At the Thanamalayan Temple in Sachindram, the three main gods of Hindu mythology Shiva, Brahma and Vishnu, are in one form called Thanamalayan. Transportation Road Bus, Kanyakumari, Nagarkoil, Kalasakaram, Marthandam, Vadasari, Araviputhantharai, Kaliakavalai. Topic rail Important railway stations, Kanyakumari, Nagarkoil, Aranyal and Kujitharai. Notable landmarks There are many places to visit in Kanyakumari, following list does not comprise all but are some of the notable places. Thiruvallavar statue The Thiruvallavar statue has a height of 95 feet 29 meters and stands upon a 38-foot rock that represents the 38 chapters of virtue in the Thirukural. The statue standing on the rock represents wealth and pleasures, signifying that wealth and love be earned and enjoyed on the foundation of solid virtue. The combined height of the statue and pedestal is 133 feet 40.5 meters, denoting the 133 chapters in the Thirukural. It has a total weight of 7,000 tons. The statue, with its slight bend around the waist is reminiscent of a dancing pose of the ancient Indian deities like Nataraja. It was sculpted by the Indian sculptor Dr. V. Ganapati who also created the Aravan Temple. Its opening ceremony was on 1 January 2000. The monument was hit by the Indian Ocean tsunami on 26 December 2004. But stood unaffected. The statue is designed to survive earthquakes of unexpected magnitude, such as magnitude 6 on the Richter scale occurring within 100 km. This is far beyond that of any event recorded in the regional history. During maintenance work, as well as during rough sea, entry is restricted for tourists. Vivekananda Rock Memorial The Vivekananda Rock Memorial is a popular tourist monument in Vavatharai, Kanyakumari, India. The memorial stands on one of two rocks located about 500 metres east of the mainland of Vavatharai. It was built in 1970 in honor of Swami Vivekananda who is said to have attained enlightenment on the rock. One, according to local legends, it was on this rock that Goddess Kumari performed austerity. A meditation hall Diana Mandapam is also attached to the memorial for visitors to meditate. The design of the Mandapa incorporates different styles of temple architecture from all over India. It houses a statue of Vivekananda. The rocks are surrounded by the locative sea. The memorial consists of two main structures, the Vivekananda Mandapam and the Sripada Mandapam. Gandhi Memorial Mandapam The Gandhi Memorial Mandapam has been built on the spot where the urn containing the Mahatma's ashes was kept for public viewing before immersion. Resembling central Indian Hindu temples in form, the memorial was designed in such a way that on Mahatma Gandhi's birthday, 2 October, the first rays of the sun fall on the exact place where his ashes were kept. <laughs> Tsunami Memorial Park 
Near Kanyakumari's southern shore stands a monument to the memory of those who died in the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami, an underwater megathrust earthquake that claimed around 280,000 lives in many countries, including India, Sri Lanka, Somalia, Thailand, Maldives and Indonesia. People from places near and far visit this monument to pay homage to all those who lost their lives. Bhagavathi Amman Temple Bhagavathi Amman Temple is a 3,000-year-old temple dedicated to goddess Kumari Amman located at Kanyakumari. Kumari Amman is one of the form of Devi, popularly known as Kumari Bhagavathi Amman. Kumari Bhagavathi Amman Temple is the first Durga temple created by Lord Parasurama and one of the 108 Shakti Pithas. This temple is situated at the shore of the Lakadav Sea. Kumari Temple has been mentioned in Ramayana, Mahabharata, and Puranauru. This temple, dedicated to Goddess Parvati, also known as Bhagavathi, is situated at the Triveni Sangam, point of confluence of the three seas of Kanyakumari. Opening closing time: 4:30 a.m. to 12 p.m. 4:15 p.m. to 8:15 p.m. Topic: Kamarahar Mani Mantapa Monument. Kamarahar Mani Mantapa Monument was raised and dedicated to a freedom fighter and former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, President of Indian National Congress, Mr. Kamarahar. He's also popularly known as Black Gandhi among the masses. Like the Gandhi Mantapa, this place is where Kamarajar's ashes were kept for the public to pay homage before immersion into the sea. <laughs> Tourist information The state-owned Pumpahar Shipping Corporation runs ferry services between the town and the Vivekananda Rock Memorial and Thiruvallavar statue, situated on rocky islets off the coast. The operation of the ferry service began in 1984. Two ferries were used to ferry the tourists until June 2013, after which a new ferry was added to the service on the occasion of 150th birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. Kanyakumari is directly connected by rail with almost all metropolitan cities in India. The nearest airport is Tiruvananthapuram International Airport, 90 km 56 miles from Kanyakumari town and 70 km 43 miles from Nagarkoil. Kanyakumari is 744 km 462 miles from Chennai. The Tamil Nadu State Transport Corporation runs a circular bus to visit tourist spots. Circular bus route, Kanyakumari to Kanyakumari via Vatakatai, Padmanabhapuram Palace, Thadapalam, Pechiparai Dam, Thirprapu Falls, Mudam Beach and Sachindram Stanimalayan Temple. The bus will start at 7 am just after sunrise and return to Kanyakumari by 6 pm so that tourists can also view sunset on sea. The fare per trip is 200 rupees per for adults and 100 rupees per for children. Panoramic view Panoramic full view of the Thiruvallavar statue and the Vivekananda Rock Memorial, outlooking the Locative Sea. Religious significance According to Hindu legend, Kanya Devi, an avatar of Parvati, was to marry Shiva, but as he failed to show up on his wedding day, the rice and other grains meant for the wedding feast remained uncooked and remain unused thereafter. As the legend goes, the uncooked grains turned into stones as time went by. Some believe that the small stones on the shore today, which look like rice, are indeed grains from the wedding that was never solemnist. Kanya Devi is now considered a virgin goddess who blesses pilgrims and tourists who flock the town. According to another Hindu legend, Lord Hanuman dropped a piece of earth as he was carrying a mountain with his life-saving herb, M. Rita Sanjivani, from the Himalayas to Lanka, Sri Lanka during the Rama Ravana War. This chunk of earth is called Maranthavaj Malai, literally, hills where medicine lives. This is said to be the reason for the abundance of unique native medicinal plants in the area. Maranthavaj Malai is located near Kottaram about 7 km 4 miles from Kanyakumari town on the Kanyakumari Nagarkoil Highway. The sage Agastya, who was himself an expert in medicinal herbs, is believed to have lived around this site in ancient days. 
Some believe this is why so many medicinal herbs are to be found on these hills near Kanyakumari. A nearby village is named Agastheaswaram after the sage. Today, there is a small ashram on the middle of the Maruthavaj Malai Hill, which tourists visit after a short trek from the base of the hill, both to visit the ashram and also to take a glimpse of the sea near Kanyakumari a few kilometers away, and the greenery below. See also Devi Kanya Kumari Tamil Nadu Thirprapu Kinnakananvalai Travancore Shuchandram Nagaraja Temple, Nagarkoil <laughs>